This talk is about deployable and selectively classable origami inspired mechanical matter materials. So what is deployable structure? Deployable structure are structures that can change shape and size. For example, umbrella, this toy, and this tensegrity structure. So deployable structure can find many applications, particularly in biomedical and the space. This is the stand. This is an expandable uh, space capsule, it's beam, beam module developed by Bigelow Aerospace. Actually, the beam module was launched uh, to the International uh, Space Station in 2016 by one of the SpaceX, uh, one of the SpaceX uh, payload. Origami structure in nature, they are deployable, like this magic ball, this is a bullet shield, and this is a, a origami structure developed by Bataldi's group. And this, uh, another one I'm showing here is a neural tube developed by a Pauline's group at Georgia Tech. And it's deployable and it, you can it is contract. Okay, and this, uh, this pattern is called a triangulating cylinder pattern is also deployable. So all origami structures are great, you know, they can develop our deployable structures, but the problem is the deployable structure is not stable. I cannot bear load. Like this structure, little perturbation, load at a vertical direction will collapse this structure. So our motivation is to develop a mechanical matter material with on-demand deployability and a selective collapsibility. So our starting point is this is triangulating cylinder pattern. And this is a planar state, lots of triangles. Unicell is one triangle with three parameters, length A, angle alpha, angle beta. With three parameters, we can define this planar state using capital L as the Chris lens. For folded state, we also have three parameters, height H, angle phi, radius R. And we can have three lens, Chris lens at the folded state, LAB, LBC, and LAC. Now we have three parameters at the planar state, three parameters at the folded state. Do we see a problem? We do see a problem, which is we have so many folded states, but only one planar state. What does this mean? This means during the folding uh, deploy process, we develop strain. This is the deformable origami. To describe the formal origami to make the problem more uh, uh, simplified, we define engineering strain as a crisis. Basically, we consider all the energy stored at the crisis instead of stored at the crisis and the panel. So here shows this is truss model. Here shows the truss model basically capture the main deformation feature of the triangulated cylinder pattern. Now with this, we're going to use the, we're going to use the energy analysis to get the equilibrium state at the folded or deployed state. So energy depends on height h, angle phi, and radius r. Okay, and for given height h or a given deployed state, we minimize in terms of phi and r to get the equilibrium state. Okay, so first pattern, the angle is 38, 30, and here shows the normalized energy as a function of h, h equals zero, corresponds to a complete collapse state, and this for a complete deploy state, and strain at these three crises. Here, few key features here. First one is bistable state. Both collapse state and deploy state are under equilibrium. Okay, there's an energy barrier. Okay, there's an energy barrier here. Uh, the maximum strain for the three members uh, uh, for the crisis, AC, BC, and AC are all small, less than 1% which means paper, you can fold this when using paper. Another one is a single pass. So they deploy, follow this trend, overcome this barrier, and the class follow the same trend by overcoming the same barrier. So it is, does not de uh, possess on-demand or selective deployability and the collapsibility. Okay, now so therefore, if we uh, and, uh, apply a load, it will collapse easily. All right, so a different pattern. The angle is 50, 50. Now, compared with the previous one, the only difference is angle. 
okay, 50-50. So they, they were the same height, they were the same height. Now here shows the energy and strength. Different, pa different pattern, different feature. So feature one, the deploy process can be autonomous as the complete, completely clap state has a higher energy. Basically the deploy is a autonomous process. It's only one, this equilibrium state, okay? Another one, the energy barrier. If you go back from this uh, deploy state to clap state, the energy barrier is about 600 times higher than previous case. Here's 1,000. The previous one is 1.5, 1.5, okay? So this pattern has much higher energy barrier, okay? Another key point, large strain. All members, large strain. The strain larger than 10%. Paper cannot bear it. Basically, paper model cannot be collapsed because during the process, so large strain. And we also found a strain, for the strain, the interesting is, okay, uh, kind of collapse, which means this structure can bear load. But strain for the member varies between tension and the compression, the interest feature. So let's see the AC member. For most part of the deploy process, the AC member has a positive strain, 15%. And close to the equal final state, the collapse state, the deploy state, the strain changes to negative, changes to compressor. Same trend for AB and ABC member. They, they mostly they are compressive. And close to, equal, close to deploy state, they change to uh, tension. Okay, now this structure has a feature which is can bear load. It's hard to collapse. And the, but the problem for paper is, it, paper cannot do this because paper cannot bear a large, large string. And the asymmetry structure and, and this uh, string transition from tension to compression, gave us an idea, can we use this feature to design on-demand deployable and classable structures, okay? So if our AC member, if AC has easy stretch, but hard to compress, therefore during this deploy process can be very easy. But during the uh, class state, the hard compress capability of the AC you make this, this structure hard to compress. So you can achieve easy deploy and the selective class collapse. Okay. So we have asymmetric tension compression behavior for AC member. Okay, suppose AC member has this behavior, then this is the energy profile. Okay. So for the uh, deploy, the deploy process is similar to the previous one, it's basically autonomous and it decreases, follows the four, three, five, one. And for strain, the, all the strain is spared by AC member. The AB and BC members do not have strain. Okay, so the deploy process is still easy. Okay, easy. The strains, uh, okay. AC strain is large, but it's AC is easy to stretch. Okay, okay now for the uh, class. Class, we have two passes. One is easy pass, same way back. One, five, three, four. Okay, AC member goes through this way and BC and AB uh, goes this way. Another one, hard way back, goes to from one, two, three, four. See the energy, energy much, much harder than the, much, much higher than the easy way back. Okay, and, str and st the strain. So AC, it goes to this compression, and you know compression, it is, uh, AC is hard to compress. So the energy to compress AC is huge. That's why it costs to this a huge energy barrier. Okay, so in this structure, we have autonomous deploy and a selective class. We have two ways to class. One is easy way back, another is hard way back. And we further shows the energy contour as function at phi and the height. So deploy, you follow this blue, blue is lowest energy from four, three, five, one. And a class, there are two passes. One is a hard way, hard way. From one, we just direct compress. We, for direct compress, which we, we, we make H smaller, make height smaller, lower. We change from blue, yellow, to red, the energy increase dramatically. 
one, two, three, four. An easy one, clasp pass two from one, five, three, four. And close lookup that we can find is the, the de so fully deployed state, state one. H does not reach maximum. The maximum H is actually for state five. State five is not a fully deployed state. That differentiates the two state. If you want to, if you want, ha want to have a hard collapse, you just directly compress it. The H decreases. It goes to from one to two. If you want to go for a easy collapse, you change, you increase height, you increase height, and then you decrease height. You increase height, then you decrease height. Okay. Now here shows the, the, the side wheel, okay? Clap state, okay, pass one, which is the hard one, because one is hard one. From one, two, three, four, you just directly compress it. You have much higher energy barrier. Now clap pass two, you first increase height, then decrease height. The pass two, the energy much, much lower. The, so the critical point between these two, Two patterns is the angle A, B, C. For the easy, for the first case, which is can cannot bear load, A, B, C angle larger than 90 degrees. You, if you recall, 38, 30. A is larger than 90 degree. And for the uh, for the hard class case, 50, 55. So A, B, C less than 90. So when less than 90, we have this uh, strange change sign between tension and compression. That's a critical point. Here, cartoon shows the, the process. So easy deploy, always easy deploy. Energy, auto, energy decreases. It's basically the autonomous process. Now, after deploy, easy way back, easy claps, follow the same way back, follow the same way back. Basically, we increase height a little bit and then uh, decrease the height. Okay, and, uh, the second way, same easy deploy. Okay. After you reach the here, here, the height. Okay. A hard claps. You just directly compress the energy shooting up. All right. Okay. So we based on this, we build a model to achieve this. And here's our model. All the parts are from off the shelf. Okay. So uh, how the key point component is how to achieve asymmetric tension compression for the AC number. Here is A, C, and B. Here we use this tube. It's inside the tube, there's spring. So we use stretch, the spring is stretched, easy stretch. We use compress, the tube is compressed, hard to compress. And to, in our model, we consider the energy only in terms in, in the in the in the uh, in the bar here. Uh, there's no energy at the hinge. Therefore, we have the joint, the smooth joint at the uh, all the all the joint point, joint point. And this is a, a deployed state, side view, and this is a clap state, top view, clap state, side view. You can see from the deployed state to clap state, the height changes from 6.4 to 2.2, okay? Here, I show the video. So my students three is uh, uh, doing this experiment. Okay, that is a fully uh, deployed state. To either deploy uh, class back, you twist, okay, you compress, okay? And for this uh, uh, an initial deploy, it is auto almost autonomous. You can compress directly, it is hard. Okay, if you twist, it goes back easily. Now test load bearing capability. He brought this one to a gym. Okay, I put on a weight, 35 pounds, and then he's, he's stand on it. Okay, very strong. We can have two ways to collapse. And we also measured load bearing capability. We, for the first one, for the first time compression, the maximum load is about uh, uh, 2,700 Newton, which is more than 100, uh, 16, 1,600 times the weight of the material, okay? And we found a, a failure mode. So the, the BC member uh, fractures. The BC member, you compress directly 
BC member, as you can see here, BC member also have a compressed strain and BC member buckles because buckles, okay? Okay, we can, can be strengthened by using one whole member. Here we have several parts. However, after first loading, even BC member uh, failure failed, we can still, uh, uh, structure can still possess on-demand deployability and selective collapsibility. Second load, second compression, a steel carrier load, 1500 Newton, and few member, uh, more member uh, fractured, but the structure still possesses on-demand deployability and a selective collapsibility. Seems for the third time, more member failure, but this, this structure is quite robust. All right, we can also use the paper rubber band model to build this structure. Okay, here shows, quickly shows here, paper band, paper rubber band model. We can have this structure. Uh, it's also, uh, you can see here, the twist, collapse this one, and autonomously deploy, okay? And can very load. Can you just put its weight, can very load. All right, quick summary. Uh, so we, we found a general design principle, deformable origami and non-monotonic stream pass. We have hope to develop this on-demand Deployability, deployable and a classical structure. And this work can be employed to create more versatile mechanical matter materials with tunable deployability and stiffness in many applications. You can check out details for the work from this paper. Thank you.